Hey guys, my name is Patrick Nyer, and this is my submission for the North Face Brief for Pencils Diversity by Design Masterclass. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, um, I'm a recent graduate from the University of Michigan with a BFA in Art and Design with a focus on product and graphic design, and I'm currently working as a design associate in Boston. I'm super excited to talk about my design, so let me tell you about the Stealth Hiker for North Face. So one of the things that stood out to me about the North Face uh, design brief was a quote, exploration is a mindset. Uh, this really got me thinking about what exploration actually is, uh, especially in a COVID world where you can't just um, take a trip out to a place that you've never been before. Um, so it led me to uh, thinking about how people are stuck in their homes and how they could explore the immediate area uh, outside, which led me to creating a user profile for Sarah, who is 32, lives in the suburbs in New England, and loves being hack uh, active, healthy, and often goes on hikes to relax. She's environmentally conscious and enjoys the outdoors and being immersed in nature. Um, and she also loves discovering new things and is interested in nature photography. So based on these characteristics, uh, she's looking for a hiking boot that is perfect for short relaxing hikes. Um, she wants to disrupt nature as little as possible. Uh, and she wants agile footwear that can help her when she's taking pictures uh, during the hike. So based on these uh, characteristics, um, I'm trying to create a shoe that um, helps people explore an area they already know um, by sort of changing their perspective uh, or the way they look perceive the world um, in a different into a different way um, so I came up with two main ways to do this uh, creating a shoe that's quiet um, or soundproof so you don't disrupt nature as much and you can become more immersed in it um, and a hiker that uh, allows you to move in more diverse and flexible ways such as crouching um, so in order to actually do like make a shoe like this, um, I had to look at how uh, shoes make sounds. Um, so it led me to two main areas that um, I could solve uh, for this problem. Um, the impact of the shoe hitting the ground uh, and the surface area that actually touches the ground. Both of these are like big parts of um, how the shoe makes noise. Uh, to solve these problems, I created a shoe um, that has a four foot strike zone um, with a minimal heel area. This means that the wearer walks in a tiptoe like gait uh, similar to a track spike. Um, I also created a noise cancellation system um, that exists in the strike zone, uh, just like sort of noise canceling headphones. Uh, the system uses tiny microphones and speakers in the sole of the shoe to capture sound. Um, and play a sound at the opposite frequency to cancel it out. So uh, for some of the specific details of the design of the shoe, um, the upper includes a dark brown suede vamp that blends into the ground as to be as visually unobtrusive as possible. Uh, there's also black EVA that transitions between the outside, the outsole and the upper and is shaped like a soundproof board as seen in music studios or uh, soundproof uh, recording studios as a visual indication of the silent concept. Uh, finally, the design of the rubber outsole is inspired by sound waves, uh, which is a nod to the noise cancellation system. Uh, these sound ripples also act as a traction pattern uh, in the outsole for extra grip on uneven surfaces and minimal surface area on flat ground. So that's my submission to the North Face Brief. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time with the competition and I can't wait to hear back. My name is Patrick Nyer. Thank you very much.